Here you'll learn about the habitable base and how to build one. To build any base, you need foundations. We've prepared a small building for you to finish. Whoa, cool. Hello. I have to walk over here. Oh, I see. Let me just put this uh, construction tool. Oh. Ah, oh, I've got a construction. I didn't even realize I had that. That's what I thought then. So you do need tools. It's obvious. Obviously, you need tools. An optimal building goes from inside out and bottom up. Finishing with the corner pieces should provide the best results. Start with the middle floor piece. To assemble the block, first pick it up with the use key. Then equip the construction tool with the equip key. So that's the Q key. Once the construction tool is equipped, you see all the connection slots of the block and structural leak points on your HUD. Matching connection slots on built blocks and held blocks will be displayed as well. The manipulation of objects is performed with the mouse. To rotate an object, hold the pitch roll rotate key or the yaw rotate key and move the mouse. You can also use the 90 degree rotation keys with help located in the top left corner of your HUD. So, so what we want to do that says a leak at that side that's the wrong way then I have no idea I'm going to push it upwards but that's going to leak it says leak there Actually, let me take it above the. Uh, I guess I can take it above there. There we go. It still says leak at that side though. Ah, I see. It still says leak, but obviously, I wonder if that's because it's actually not attached yet. Congratulations, you've placed your very first block. Continue with the other two floor blocks. When the construction tool is equipped, leak points are represented by red warning triangles on your HUD. Right, so that's just because it's not being constructed, it's not being laid in yet. So that's why those, yellow, those red sort of triangles were saying leak. What the other? Yeah, that's the corner section, isn't it? So this is the. Uh, I'll try and grab it. Yeah, that's better. I've no idea why on earth I've just grabbed this, but there we go. So this part goes here. So, equip the uh, tool again. Yeah, it's going to leak there. It's going to leak. It's obviously it's going to leak there, but. Uh, it's leaking up there as well. Weird. So which... Oh, there we go. Am I supposed to get up there? Ah, oh, great. What did, you just, what did you just do? Let's go around. Put your tool away. Never run with your tool out. You should always put your tool away. You have to scare the wildlife for starters. So what have we got here? It says grab this, but... Oh, I see. So we'll take this round. Uh, no, not like that. Equip the tool again. <coughs> Not like that. No. Oh. Wait a minute. That's not right. Oh, there we go. Once all the floor pieces are placed, continue with the wall blocks. Remember that the ideal way to place wall pieces is from corner to corner. 
So from corner to corner. So yeah, so we will start from here. Whoa. You right, man? So this piece just here. Not that piece. Is it that piece? No, that, that's a corner section, isn't it? Or is it? That's weird. I mean, that's sh that the shape there would suggest it's not one of those. It says grab. But I don't actually want to grab it. Ow, ouch, ouch. Oh, of course, right, it's this section. Okay. Yep, it's alright. Good grief. Alright, alright. Calm yourself. No, I don't want it like that. Or like that. There we go. Put this second R2 to get that sorted out. Okay. I see now. I think. This was 50 kilos. That's just over 100 pounds. No, that's actually wrong, isn't it? Wait a second. It's a bit weird. Cause I dare to get a big hole here. Where's your other parts? And that there. Big box air tight as a sock. It's telling me to put them where oh, it's telling me to do the wrong thing. No, it's just. It's just sort of calm down and take a deep breath. You're not pointing it at that, do you? You know, you don't. What is that? Yeah, of course. Grab this out of the way. That's the corner piece. So why is it... Why is it telling me to grab this? Oh well. It's my idea to put it in the wrong place, I suppose. Can't blame the uh, tutorial for not taking any notice of it. In that way. No. No. There we go. So I'll take the two out now, and that should push into there. Good grief. There we go. That should be... <laughs> what the devil? How's it go there? How's it go wrong? I didn't fit it there incorrectly, it decided to fit it there incorrectly itself. Nothing I can do about that. Ouch. Alright. Alright man. Calm yourself. Yeah, it's a bit... It's a bit jittery, isn't it? Go underneath, I suppose. You might. There we go. Yeah, so obviously, make sure you've got plenty of money to. Well, not on one side, at least on one side. 
take and squeeze them in. Alright. Don't run with your tool out. Nasty accident with your tool out, right? It's like running with scissors. Let's forget about that. And again, don't like that. That should be upside down, oh good grief. No, the other way. There we go. No. Oh, what? Right, there we go. That should. The last part to do is the entrance. For this particular one, build the door frame first and then add the single door. This is the easiest way to seal the base, but also the most ineffective one. That's because each time you depressurize the door, you leak all the oxygen from inside. Yes, you need an inside interior door, don't you, really? Yeah, uh, can I grab it then? There we go. Alright, alright, we'll go mad. So tap the key down, just to align it a little bit before I go up the stairs. Because we'll only fall over with it in our hands, won't we? Did that with a very large picture frame once. Don't worry, really tune out. Don't want any accidents. Oh dear. Alright, alright, calm down. So let's rotate it just like before. Into position. Should this be on the inside? It's the same either side. Alright. Just thought I'd make sure. Tool is out. Great. The building is finished and sealed. Now it just needs power. You may have noticed the power socket panel on the floor. Connect it to the solar farm. So I want the output. Oh, here we go. Good job, the base is now powered. Proceed to the next part of your training. Yeah, but they're not exactly sort of right, are they? Oh, there we go. Put them down. That's a bit. Weird that. This is a three layered habitat. It has an outer shell that protects the insides from radiation and the environment. A middle connection layer maintains the interior environment temperature. And the last one is made of customizable interior panels for a homey feeling. Move through the airlock the usual way. Should we cycle first? No, obviously not. Yeah, obviously we should do. So, we can use the... Oh, we use the handle instead here. Ouch. <coughs> Never forget to close the airlocks behind you. Your life is at stake. On Mars, no one can hear you scream. Looks like cycle. Nice, it's safe.
Basic habitat information can be seen on a wall-mounted screen on the left side of the room. Information is divided into several tabs. Go through them to continue. I like the wooding to area. That's nice. Okay, so welcome to the Habitat Interaction System. The tabs to the right switch between various functionalities of this panel, including remote camera connection and the satellite map. We hope our technologies help you survive on the surface of Mars. The map tab shows you a satellite image of the current location. The Cameras tab gives you a live preview of the Habitat cameras and the live feed from personal head-mounted cameras. That's quite nice, that. It's not exactly, it's not in real time, that. It's like, there's a slight delay. So that's the head camera. Oh, so that's the only uh, cameras there are. What's this for? Room temperature and current power levels are in the status tab. You now have the knowledge to build and modify the habitat to your liking. When you finish building and powering your base, it is not habitable yet. First, you have to connect the oxygen to the resource sockets on the outside. Depending on its size, you can pressurize the base if you have enough oxygen. Size, shape, complexity, room and floor numbers are all up to you when building. The only thing restricting you on Mars will be resources, so bear that in mind when planning your base. You may proceed to the map for more training, or look around. There is an outpost based next to the habitat. Okay. Let's have a look around. So I've sort of lab equipment to uh, actually use this, but uh, it's quite nice. So there's two, oops. Sit down, but um, yeah, there's something wrong with your legs, obviously. That's weird. Oh, the lead, the beds you can lie down in. It's a bit water. So that's it. You have one drink of water. And a small hydroponics bit. That's nice. Examine. The plant has fully matured and is ready to be harvested. Potato seeds. Ah, no, that's not what it means. <coughs> so, oh, never mind. Plant seeds. There we go. Eat food. There's no sort of um, <coughs> Sort of animation of you actually eating now. So it's. So we've got earth soil. Hmm. 
I've got two hydras, do you? Water. So you water and earth soil. I think surely on Mars you'll be scraping up sort of you'll be scraping up Martian soil, I suppose. I suppose that's problematic in itself. Well, what's that? What the devil's that? See anything, so let's get outside. You don't want me to tool out, very dangerous. Why do I not need to cycle this airlock anymore? What earth was that noise? That was weird. Why well, it's coming from over here? So how do you actually reach those sockets. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, the environment's it's a little bit glitchy, isn't it? In fact it's very glitchy. So that. So if you go in here, we see if you was on Mars, you would have to depressurize the entire building, like you said. Just a basic pressurized. So that's output. Grid, there's nothing plugged in. So anything powered, anything that generates power goes into red. Anything that wants power goes into green. Is it? You know around? We'll find out when we blow everything up, I suppose. So what is this over here? A look. A fair bit of, bit of stuff that it doesn't actually teach you about. It's just a very, very basic that just throws you in at the deep end. So that is danger. So you can't actually go through there. And it's plugged in but it's not actually connected physically. So you can actually just walk through, so I don't know what this is. There's hydroponics bay, okay, hydroponics station there, just a small one. Oh, 
Well, that's all it is. So I think why I can't go in there. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> okay, so that's about it. So that's all four missions, all four mission tutorials finished. So that's the basics of vehicles, machines and the habitat which you just done. Okay, so next is the unmanned or remote training simulations. And we'll go ahead and do this now. <laughs>